Hi, once again, this is James. I'm just going to do this video on how to use Traffic Travis once again for your keyword research. By now, we've gotten a good sized list of keywords that are going to get good search volume, and you still need at this point to have around 30 or more keywords to start targeting. Now you can always go back and do more keyword research later, but 30 is always a good start to get your site built up and start driving some traffic. We're going to go right here to the SEO analysis tool and select analyze keywords. Now we're going to take this keyword list that we made earlier and we're going to just plug these in right here. where it says phrase to analyze just copy and paste your phrase in there um, the biggest search volume really is in the United States you can select different countries here but uh, United States is going to get the best search volumes and then just click over here on analyze you're gonna see it's gonna bring up a list these are the top ranking sites right now in the search engines for that keyword Now what you want to look at, okay, look here. Best ways to get your ex back easy in articles. One of the things you want to look at is this there's a lot of social sites that have this ranking. Those sites are very difficult to beat um in the search engines. You can and it does but it's just going to take a little bit more work. Um article base, easy in articles, hub pages, squidoo you know, YouTube videos. You know, these are why those pages are so important. Look at how easily they rank in the search engines. Look, only three backlinks to that site and they're getting page one rankings here. Okay, so one of the other, the next thing you want to look at is the page rank of those pages. Okay, if you're starting a new site, all of your pages are going to be page rank zero. Okay, and as long as there's a few page rank one or page rank zero pages in this list, you'll be okay. Now look right here, okay, I've actually got the top 20 sites here. You want to be on page one, which means you need to be from top 10 all the way up to number one. Those are the sites you want to be. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is the age of the site. Are there any sites on here that are at age of zero? and there are several here that we can see okay that's going to be important because if all of these pages are age five or six or seven you're going to have some difficulty with a brand new site beating out those pages that have been there for a long time um, if it's got that eight long of a age then google probably really likes that page a lot and it's probably been there for a while Look at the next thing is over here. BL is going to be for the backlinks. Now this is the number of backlinks to that specific page. You notice some of these don't have very many backlinks at all. You know, one backlink, zero backlinks, but those are easy in articles, which Google loves easy in articles. So, you know, next one, 454, getmyxpack.com, 58. They've only got 900 and no SEO value. 401. So, you know, also right up here, you're going to have a difficulty rating. This is going to tell you, you know, pretty much based on this information in its own, the program's analysis of all this information, that should be a fairly easy one to rank for. And I can tell you it's pretty easy. Okay, the next thing we need to look at is right over here. Okay, this TBL, that's the number of backlinks from .edu and .gov sites. You know, and none of these have them. Those are going to be more if you're promoting educational products or um, government related sites or products. Okay, this right here is going to show you are they listed in the DMOZ directory. DMOZ is a free directory. I recommend you submit your sites to DMOZ, but they 
are very difficult to get into. Um, they do human reviews, which is why they're highly loved by the search engines. They're one of the few web directories that the search engines actually trust links from. And the other one is Yahoo. And the big part of why everybody trusts Yahoo is it does cost about $300 to get yourself listed in the Yahoo directory. So unless you have money to spend, I don't recommend trying to get into the Yahoo directory. Um, but if you definitely, if you need, are going some after really highly competitive keywords, and you need that extra bit of love, and you have the money to spend, then it's well worth the time. These are going to show your basic on-page SEO, your title tags. Do they have the keyword in the description, and do they have the keyword in the H1 tags? And none of these sites are showing that they do. Um, so see here, none of these sites are showing that they have done the on-page SEO to rank their pages. So this site will probably, this keyword, best way to get back at your, get back at an X, is probably going to be fairly easy to rank for. So what you can do is you can take that keyword phrase, write an article about how to get back at your ex and then you can get rankings for that page that's how you're going to use traffic travis to analyze your keywords you want to just plug in each one of your keywords here let's see if we can get a different one with a little better so we have dealing with a breakup i'm going to check that one real quick here and over it and once again we're going to look here at all these things look at the page rank look at the age of the page look at the backlinks to the site look at the total backlinks to the site and this one's going to be a little more difficult to rank for take these you know analyze your keywords and take the time to look at those keywords and how it's going to take to rank for them and once you do that then you can start moving forward to write your articles and I have one more video I'm going to record for you on how to avoid analysis paralysis and move forward with your business and we'll see you next time